Hey guys, welcome to the 16th video of my series on regular expressions in Python and in this video we are going to talk about a bit more advanced topic which is called look ahead. So before we talk about look ahead or anything else, let us take a look at a very simple example. So let me import the regex module and now let me specify some text which is red, green, blue. So now consider that um, you want to search for green in this particular text. You want to search for the green word actually. So as we have seen in the boundary matches that there is a word boundary uh, met, uh, meta character which is slash b which you can use if you want to um, look for word boundaries. So I just wrap my green with some word boundaries um, before and after writing green and now it will match only for the word green. So if I just try to find I get the output. Now one thing to notice here is that slash b is actually not a part of your output. Isn't that interesting that slash b is not a part of your output. So what is slash b actually doing here? Slash b is actually um, checking if green is if green has some kind of word boundary before it and a word boundary after it. But it is not actually a part of your output. So what is it? Uh, so what is it called? What is this behavior called? This particular thing is actually called zero width assertion zero width assertion so the characters which indicate positions rather than the actual content are called zero width assertions so basically this slash be matched with this space but this space will not become the part of your result because it is not actually matched with the pattern so it is just a kind of a check that you are making here a kind of an assertion so this assertion since it is not taking any space in your output it is called zero width assertion so just like this, just like slash b, there is the caret symbol to check if there is a start of line or dollar sign to check if it is end of line. So all those things, all these boundary matches are actually zero bit assertions. So the property of zero bit assertion is that they do not, they do assertion without consuming any kind of characters. They just return a positive or negative result of the match. That's it. So uh, this is the concept of zero bit assertions and a more powerful kind of zero bit assertion is look around. So now look around is a new term for you, which is a new mechanism that you can um, uh, understand. So it is a mechanism with which it is possible to match a certain, um, it, with which it is possible to match a certain pattern before or after your current position. So basically right now you are just checking if there is slash b, a kind of a word boundary before green. Then by using look around, it is possible. It will be possible for you to check if there is a particular um, regular expression before green, or there is a particular regular expression after green. So if this is possible to do by using the mechanism of look around, by using look around, you will be able to check if before green there is a particular regular expression, or after green there is a particular regular expression. But again, that regular expression will not be a part of your final result. That will be a zero bit assertion. So I hope the concept of look around is a bit clear. So now um, just to increase your understanding, you need to understand that um, the look around actually consists of two parts. Um, the look around mechanism that we are talking about, the patterns which use the look around mechanism have two parts, the actual expression and the non-consuming expression. So actual expression just like green here is an, ex is an ex actual expression which will be which constitutes the part of your result. And then there is non-consuming expression. The non-consuming expression is an expression whose match is evaluated before the actual expression just to see if it can succeed. So basically you just check this particular expression before actually matching green to see if it can succeed or you check this before actually matching green to see if it can succeed. Only if it succeeds you will match for green. So this is the concept of look around. So um, on the basis of some uh, kind of um, differences we have some categories of look around there is look ahead there is look behind so in look ahead you check if uh, um, a particular regular expression uh, succeeds um, after your actual expression whereas in look behind you check a particular regular, uh, regular expression is succeeding before your actual expression so these are the two differences and then again look ahead has two types positive negative look behind also has positive negative so in this video we are going to talk about look ahead only we are not going to talk about look behind Look behind is going to be a part for the next video. So let us talk about look ahead again. So what is look ahead? Look ahead is a mechanism which checks the match for a non-consuming expression ahead of a given pattern. So basically if you have uh, an, um, if you have a 
an actual expression a then you might you might want to check if there exist a non consuming expression b um ahead of your uh, of your actual pattern okay so if you want to check this kind of thing then you will say that you are checking look ahead and if you are checking if b succeeds then we call that positive look ahead and if you want to check if b should not succeed then we call that negative look ahead so these are two categories so let us take a look at the definition positive look ahead will succeed if the past non consuming expression does match against the forthcoming input okay so in the case of positive look ahead we try to check if um, your non consuming expression is matching with the input whereas in negative look ahead we want it to not match so the syntax actually is you write your uh, actual pattern in the normal way then you create a parenthesis in which you put question mark and equal to sign and then you write the expression the non consuming expression which needs to be checked before actually checking your actual expression okay so let us try to see an, uh, let us try to understand it with an example so let's say you want to find a match for love in this particular text but you want to find a match for love only if uh, it is followed by a regex uh, it is followed by regex okay that is what you want to check so let's say you do not know about look aheads or look around anything like that so what you can do is that you can simply search for the complete pattern love regex if you do that you will get your match match will span from 17 to 27 which means from this index to this index so actually the result is this complete thing love regex so basically you are matching the complete thing you are not getting only love you are getting love regex so this is the problem that you are having here so if you just try to find the expression uh, the result you get love regex but actually what you wanted was only this particular love that is all you need okay so now we are going to um, apply the concept of um, look ahead positive look ahead here so how do you apply the concept of positive look ahead you just write an expression like this love should be followed by regex so we do that we put parentheses so let me write that again for you so love is here it should be followed by what space and then regex so since it is a look ahead i put question mark equal to sign then i put space and then i put regex that's it this is all you need to search so now if i just try to check the span of my match it is 17 to 21 7 to 21 is only this much part love or let me highlight it for you so look at that so this is the exact thing that i need the exact thing that i needed i wanted to find a match for love and that match should only follow with or uh, should be followed by regex and that is what is happening here so i hope the concept of positive look ahead is quite clear now uh, but still let us take one more example so let's say i want to find all the words in my text which are followed by comma or full stop so how do i do that so i will write a pattern for it pattern is re.compile in which first of all what do i need i need um I need to find all the words right so slash w plus so this is what i need but there is a condition that it should be followed by something so that followed by something thing should be checked before i actually start matching my word so for that i can just put a question mark equal to and now what should match it should either be a comma it should either be a comma or it can also be a dot so i just escape that dot like this so this is what we need so let me just check pattern dot find all so look at that we get red green blue because red is followed by comma green is followed by comma blue is followed by dot so let me just highlight the result for you so look at that we are getting the desired result right so in this way we have used the concept of positive look ahead and so basically the benefit that we are getting is first of all it is an efficient solution because before actually checking this complete red thing or green thing we are checking if we have a comma after it or not if there is a comma only then i'm gonna match start matching this thing right so that is uh, an efficiency that we are gaining here so yeah so this is what uh, positive look ahead is all about let us take an example of a negative look ahead to end our video so negative look ahead which simply means that um let us understand by example okay i want to find a match for love in the given text only if it is not followed by regex so it should not follow it should not be followed by regex so what i have to give is i have to write my uh, expression that i want to match but that should not satisfy so that is what i need so that is called negative look ahead so first of all let me write love and now 
what should not follow love that is what i have to specify so i put question mark and exclamation sign so this is the syntax the actual expression the non consuming expression and if the non consuming expression should not match then you put question mark and colon uh, question mark and exclamation sign slash s regex that's it let us check out let's us check it out highlight regex matches pattern text so look at that um this one will this love will fall because love regex is being followed by regex which we do not want but love python here love is followed by python which is valid so we are getting that as the result so yeah so this was all about positive and the negative look ahead i hope the concept is clear if you still have any doubt you can put them in the comment section below that's it from this video thanks for watching